eliminating epsilon production from context free grammar okay now the production rule now has been given us s determines a b a c a determines b z b determines b slash epsilon c determines d epsilon and d determines d okay now in order to eliminate epsilon first we have to identify the terminals and non terminals okay terminals and non terminals so when i go for identifying the non terminals the non terminals are this one s yes, a b c d this one when i say terminals it is a and b these terms so when i say non terminals it is s yes, a b c d when i say terminals it is a comma b okay now in order to remove epsilon we have to identify epsilon go for identifying epsilon so i have epsilon here i have epsilon here that is b determines epsilon c determines epsilon now we have to remove this epsilon one by one now let us first remove b determines epsilon remove b determines epsilon now identify b in right hand side so wherever you have b you go for identifying that b in the right hand side now i have a tends to b c okay mom now when i substitute epsilon for this a i'll have a tends to epsilon c which implies that a determines c which implies that a determines c so now this is on. now now my a will be how so i'll have my a as bc slash c okay now remove c determines e c determines epsilon now identify c in right hand side identify c in right hand side so now you have c in s yes, determines a b a c now when you go for substituting epsilon for this so s yes, determines a b a epsilon which implies s yes, determines a b a so now my s yes becomes a b a c slash a b a okay now another you have c from a tends to b c so a tends to b c now when you go for uh, substituting epsilon so a tends to b epsilon which implies that a determines b a determines b so now my a becomes already i have b c slash c so now i have my how b z slash b okay now then now we have removed b tends to b determines epsilon c determines epsilon now we have solved for a determines b c we have a determines c also now we have to solve for this a determines c so when i go for a determines c when i substitute epsilon for c epsilon for c i'll get a determines epsilon so now my a becomes bc slash b slash epsilon okay now my production rule now was my production rule uh, now was s tends to a b a c slash a b a tends to b c slash b slash epsilon then b tends to we have removed b then determines epsilon so it is b determines b then c determines epsilon has been removed so it is c determines b. 
then d determines d so now we have obtained a determines epsilon so this has to be removed so when you identify a in rhs i have s yes determines a b a c slash a b so when i say a determines epsilon my s yes becomes epsilon b a c slash b a which implies s yes determines b a c slash b a okay so s yes becomes a b a c slash a b a slash b a c slash b a so now the production rule has been reframed as yes tends to a b a c slash a b a slash b a c slash b a a tends to this epsilon has been removed so a tends to b c slash b b tends to b c determines d and d determines d okay